Kaya, welcome staff, students and special guests to our National, Aboriginal and Islander Day of Celebration Assembly. Merpika Senior High School and community guests are coming together today to celebrate the oldest living cultures in the world. Mr. Neville Pollard will now welcome you to this country at Merpika Senior High School. Kaya, Kurungas and Buddhists and, uh, and, and uh, the Yogis and the Norwiches and the uh, New Hart Buddhists and the big Buddhist uh, Mr. Austin and the other Buddhists. Buddhists are the boss. The New Hart of Europe and that, that the Buddhists, one in the New Hart of Kura Nisha, one in New Hart. And the Kura Kura, the New Hart of the Indian Nisha, on the Buddha of, of the New Hart. A general warrior, Naminari, Manjuri, and KB Moya. They walked the land. And they looked after the after the, um, the land. Buddha one, the warrior was calling Nietzsche to the to Wagila. And they gave him the Numa. And the Numa and the Wajala fell up the Mahabari. And they gave him and they won it. And now it's been including Buddha, Buddha. Because it was welcome to all the children, the boys and the girls, the girls are the ox and the boys are the mobbage, and to the very wonderful and young men and women. And we're happy that they've asked us to come here to do culture with you today, because it hasn't happened for a while. Because a long time ago, the Numa has lived on all this land here, from Jindal up right through to Frio, Mandurah, Armadale, and Midland. And they walked this land and they looked after it, because we never had any IGAs in our woolies, so we had to look after all that food and our water hot, because that's how we survived. Sustainability, if you like to say. Then later on, the Wajulas came, and they met down at Fremantle. They looked at each other, they shook hands, and we've been walking together ever since. I think that's over about 180 something years ago. And um, I always say, you know, he made up part of the reconciliation program, and has been around since old, young fellow. And um, it's our opportunity to celebrate our cultural activity and to do things and showcase. And I think that I've got to congratulate them from the staff from the school for organising today. Because I know, and I can look around the stadium here this morning, and I notice there's children from and students from all around the world here. So it makes it very obvious to me that it's a very multicultural school. And I reckon there's a lot of benefits in that. Because when we were young growing up, and we should have to feed a kangaroo home and down by. We might have had some onion and bacon, but now we've got all our ethnic friends that have come over. I can have curry, kangaroo, chili, kangaroo, kangaroo, look at a thousand and one spices. So we all benefit, that's why we've got a bit of a come on us when we get a bit older. But I just like to say welcome to you all. Have a good day, I look forward to it. Some of you coming down to throw the boomerang with me. I look forward to you coming down to see some of my normal stories. And I was telling Mr. Austin this morning, I asked him if he knew what Mira Booker meant. Because it's a new word. But I've been unable to find out that what I done was, I know there's two words in Mira Booker. And the first one is the mirror. And that's what we call a spear throw. If you're a Nunga from South, South Australia, they call them a woman. And I don't know what to call them, where you come from, yeah, fine. And um, the booker is what I'm wearing, is our clothes. So the word with a, it's obviously got something to do with a man in his coat holding a spear throw. That's where the name Mirror Booker comes from. But if I even find out the true meaning from some of our elders, I'll pass it on to school for you tonight. And um, just for me, the boys are going to dance shortly after we finish our program. And then at the end, we're going to do a smoking ceremony before you walk out, and I'll come back and I'll explain it all to you then. I'd like to say thank you all, and uh, I look forward to some big news. <laughs> 